Hi everyone, this is the first video in a series of eight where we explore the chakras. I created a series like this a couple of years ago, but unfortunately my computer crashed before I was able to upload all the videos. So I thought since so much time had passed, I'm just going to start from scratch. And um, here we go. This is the new and improved version of Healing with the Chakras. The Earth Chakra, also known as the Earth Star Chakra, is located about six inches below the feet. So it's right in between the two feet and it's about six inches below. When we're working on a client, if we don't have the space to work below the feet, for example, if they're lying on a healing bed, then we can actually work between the ankles or between the Achilles tendons when we're working with this chakra. The Earth Star Chakra is represented by the colour brown or black. The Earth Chakra is connected to our ancestry. So this chakra is really important because it basically connects us to our whole human evolution, not only our parental line, but the entire um, line of our ancestral, ancestral history. So working with this chakra can really help us to undo family traumas that have been carried through from generation to generation. It's also a very grounding chakra and this is because it is our foundations. It is the chakra that is most closely connected to our own personal foundations and evolutionary journey. On a physical plane, this chakra is connected to the feet. So this is where we look at the arches, the toes, the ankles, and how the foot health is in general. Okay, what do we look for symptomatically to indicate that we may have a blocked earth star chakra or there may be some imbalance going on there? Well, first of all, we can look at the health of the foot. So we can look at the arches and um, you know, any health issues around the feet, so foot pain or any um, structural problems that we might have in the feet. On a um, less physical level, I guess, on a more of a behavioral, behavioral or emotional level, we'd be looking at things like, um, is this person or are we grounded? Is there a feeling of being disconnected from our family history or our personal history? Um, Perhaps we feel a little bit lost and just unable to find our direction because the Earth Star Chakra, because it's that connection and anchor point to our entire family and earthly history, you know the saying, you, 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 don't, you can't determine where you're going until you know where you've come from. And I think that's really true when we look at the Earth Star Chakra. So unless we have a solid sense of grounding and sense of self and who we are, and how we came to be and what our lineage is, um, then it can be really hard to determine where we're going. You know, it can make us feel lost or without direction or without a connection or anchor point pulling us forward. In a more extreme scenario, this might manifest in an identity crisis. So a complete loss of self or loss of um, connection with who you are and who you, and your place in the world. You might also find that you feel uncomfortable being barefoot or the sensation of your foot connecting with the earth just might give you the heebie-jeebies. Um, this can also indicate a little bit of disconnection and imbalance in the earth star chakra. Crystals that are excellent for working on the earth star chakra are crystals that are brown or black. So we're looking at orthoceros, black tourmaline, smoky quartz and hematite. There are lots of other crystals of course but these are my favorites when working on the earth star chakra. So you would simply place the stone six inches below um, the center of the feet or in between the ankles as I mentioned earlier and you can work with your wand or with visualization to um, really uh, I guess Visualize the cleansing process, the grounding process, uh, opening this chakra area, filling it with everything that you need at this time. You can work with a wand or pendulum to draw out any trauma or blocked energy to close the chakra back up again, filled with you know all the healing energy. And you'll find that this is a really effective and easy way of working on the Earth Star Chakra. 
And finally, if you're looking for some other ideas for healing the Earth Star Chakra, consider a few of these options. So you could walk barefoot, especially in the sand or out in the garden or in the dirt. So just really connecting to that earth energy because this is the chakra that is not only connecting us to our ancestral um, history but our earthly history so it is the one that connects us to um, earth which is our mother so we really need to re-establish that connection we can do this through walking barefoot and also through gardening so putting your hands in the soil, feeling that earth running through your fingers, connecting your energy with the energy of the earth mother. And this will help to bring healing um, through the earth star chakra and help provide you with more balance and grounding. If you've enjoyed this short tutorial, then please jump online and check out my Chakra Healing 90 day short course on my website. You'll learn a lot more about how you can identify um, imbalances and blockage in the chakras, as well as how you can work on healing the chakras at home or in your healing space. Thanks for watching. Spiritual and soulful body. Does it will help uh, provide? Uh.